There are two common versions of blown fuel seal machines, shuttle BFS machines and rotary BFS machines. First, let's look at shuttle machines. Originally, all BFS machines were shuttle machines. As a result, there are many more shuttle machines in the market. In a BFS shuttle machine, the extrusion of the resin to create the container happens at a different station than the filling and sealing. The machine shuttles the container back and forth between the forming and filling stations. In a rotary BFS machine, the entire form, fill, and seal process occurs in a single location within an enclosed chamber. This enclosed area is an ISO 5 environment. BFS, whether through shuttle or rotary machines, is widely considered to be an advanced aseptic manufacturing process. The relative advantages of each type of BFS machine will vary by model and manufacturer, but certain facts are common to all brands and models. Shuttle machines generally take 8 to 16 seconds per cycle, which typically results in a lower output. Their tooling costs less to purchase than a larger BFS rotary machine, and the tooling can be changed over much more quickly than with rotary machines. With shuttle machines, it is also possible to use insertion technology where a component is added prior to the molds being sealed. In contrast, rotary machines typically scale to much larger output volumes because their cycle time is usually only three to eight seconds. Typically, rotary machines have a larger upfront investment cost. However, this cost can be offset by its larger rate of production. This results in a very economical way to produce high volume products with significant demand. Keep in mind, these are broad generalizations. If you're considering installing a BFS line in your pharmaceutical facility, our experts can help your team learn more about each BFS machine and which model may be right for your needs.